Today I'm going to introduce the SPM NetMap, which you can use for infrastructure discovery in SPM. SPM is a performance monitoring, anomaly detection, and alerting tool that's available in the cloud or on-premises. Nowadays, the application environments change rapidly. We have cloud instances going up and down in a matter of minutes, microservices, auto-scaling that adds and removes nodes depending on load, and of course, we have containers. Static application infrastructure diagrams, they don't cut it anymore. What we need is something that's more agile. We need a tool that shows what our topology looks like right now in real time. And that's exactly what SPM NetMaps does. The example application stack you see over here on the left would look much more complicated if you were to expand all the nodes and communication between the services. But when you're troubleshooting, you need a way to discover where your services are. So we're going to show you how to generate ad hoc network maps, which reflect the actual network communication between servers, containers, and applications. We'll go to SPM NetMap over here on the left side. The NetMap shows all our nodes and communication links between them. We can view the map using the cord layout, which works well when you have lots of nodes. We can zoom in and out by scrolling up and down, and we can move the map by clicking and dragging. If we switch from cord to a map layout, we see a map as a set of connected vertices with bandwidth info displayed on each edge. These numbers are, of course, updated every few seconds. All SPM apps that have NetMap enabled have all their nodes listed on the right. The By App view lets us easily disable or hide some of the nodes or even whole SPM apps from the map. This helps when you have a lot of nodes and are interested in only a subset of them. The By Name view shows the list of all nodes along with their ingest and egress rates. You can, of course, sort by either, which allows you to very quickly find your chattiest nodes. We can click on any node on the map in either map layout and see details for the selected node. Here we see receive and transmit rates, which SPM app the node belongs to, as well as a list of incoming and outgoing connections broken down by port. If you run multiple services per node, this lets you very quickly find the service that's receiving or producing the most traffic. And from here, we can click on the individual nodes and load their details, or we can click on the SPM app name and go to its network traffic report. Now, let's see how you can get this information for your own infrastructure. The network monitoring agent is included in the SPM client package. The best practice is to install SPM client on all your nodes in order to gain full network visibility for all the nodes. Once the SPM client is installed, you can enable and start the network monitoring agent with just a few simple commands. Within a few moments, you'll see your net map for all nodes where you enabled the SPM network monitoring agent. And that's it. We hope you give it a try. Just click the start your free trial button on your screen to get going.